Welcome back to the crochet crowd as well as my friends over at yarnspirations.com. These are the rainy day crochet booties. Probably the one of the most adorable booties I've ever seen when you get the, a pair of these done. The pictures really do not make this justice and how cute these really are. We're gonna be using Bernat Baby uh, Blanket Tiny today. You only need one ball in order to complete a set. Um, the sizes that are available are six to 12 months of age or 18 to 24. And it's using a four millimeter size G crochet hook in order to play. I've done a sample. You gotta see the sample. It's just so cute. <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like. I know my teeth are hurting. It's so sweet. I love it. So the just the the additional handles at the top. I'm telling you, these are so awesome. And uh, with the right colors and the sizing, um, it'd be really quite awesome. So it's available from six to twelve months of age, eighteen to twenty-four. Um, I think these are just so sweet so sweet. So let's get our crochet hook and let's get to make a pair of these and you're gonna see this is gonna be pretty awesome. So on camera today I'm gonna be doing the six to 12 month age of size. So whenever it's this size it's gonna be indicated in red on your pattern and if it's the 18 to 24 it'll be uh, showing in gold. So whenever you're making a decision you'll have to just look at this but I am gonna follow the six to 12 months of age. So if, for example it says one single crochet in each of the next three and then it has bracket five so it depends on what size that you're working with. So just choose the color that you need to work with in order to get this done. So this is the six to 12 months of age. Okay, so let's begin. We're going to start off with a slip knot. I have to tell you the counting is so important on these. When I first started doing baby booties way back when I started crochet, I'd have one booty that was like a monster foot <laughs> and the other one wasn't. That's because I wasn't counting very well because I wasn't counting. So you really should count if you wanna get a pair of matching booties that, that really go together. So let's uh, begin. So remember the first slip knot never counts as one. So we need to total, uh, chain a total of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So once you get your eight, you're ready to go. Okay, so what we're going to do is that we're gonna start off this chain and we're gonna work our way around and then when we get to the end of the chain, we're gonna turn around and go around the bottom side of the chain. So we're gonna go in a complete revolution. So second chain from the hook, so just count it back. So one and two, get the back loop of that stitch. It's just easier to be able to process it uh, when you're getting further on into this project. So the back loop and you're going to put in two single crochets into that one. So one and two. So now the next three in a row you want to, boo, to put one single crochet each. So one and then get the next one. This is two and finally the next one starting off is always the hardest is the third one of single crochet. The next one you're going to put in a half double crochet. So the next chain just go right into it and just do a half double crochet. This is gonna be the front of the foot. And then the next one there's two chains left. So one and two. The next one is gonna be two double crochets into the same one. So one and do two. Put that right into the same stitch. And then finally what we're going to do is that the very final one here we're going to put in six double crochets that will go all the way around it. So watch. So you just go one and let the project turn as you're going it. So two and three, four, five and six. So do you see how the project just naturally turned around the front of the foot? So then you're just gonna come into the opposite side of the chain. So the very first one that you're gonna run into is gonna be and just put the straggler down on top it or bury it underneath is gonna be two double crochets into the same one. So one and two. The next one is gonna be one half double crochet by itself. And then the next three are one single crochet each. Keep that straggler down on top of the line. You can bury it as you go. So three single crochets in a row. So one, two, and three. And finally the last stitch that's available to you is going to be two single crochets. So one and two and you wanna join it to the top of the very first single crochet that you'd started with. Okay, so that's what it kind of looks like. So it's kind of got a warped 
uh, front, this is the front of the foot, this is the back of the foot. So it kind of looks like a foot right now. So let's move along to round number two. So let's start on round number two. We're gonna chain up two, does not count as a stitch at all. And in the same one, the first one, you're going to put three half double crochets in there. So let's do that. So one, it's all in the same one. This is two, this is three. Now for the next seven in a row, you're just gonna put those as half double crochets. So just working your way across, count those out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And once you get your seven in, the next one is gonna be two half double crochets into the same one. So one and two. And then the next one after that is gonna be one by itself. And then the next one after that is going to be three half double crochets into the same one. So this is the top front of the foot. So one, two, and three. And then the next one is gonna be three half double crochets. So one, two, and three. The next one after that will be one half double crochet by itself. And the next one after that will be two half double crochets into the same one. So one and two. Just like you see. And then all you just need to do is that you need to go back and just half double crochet almost to the very edge to the to the other side. But what we have to do then is that we just have to uh, go across for the next seven. Okay. So let's uh, just count those out together. So just we'll go one and two. This is three, four, five, this is six and seven just like you see and then you're gonna do three half doubles in the last one. So one, two and three and you're going to join it to the very top of the beginning one that you had started with. like so. So that's pretty easy, right? So that was round number two. So you can see it's got more of a defined shape as a foot. So let's keep on going, round number three. Okay, so this is the last growth round in order to make the, the bottom of the booty. If you can see the other ones, you got a little bit of way to go when you look at the size difference. So let's uh, continue along. We're going to chain up two, does not count as a stitch, but in the same one that you did the join with, you're going to put in two half double crochets. So one, and two. Okay, and the next one is going to be two into the same one again. So one and two, just like you see. So now what we're going to do is that for the next nine in a row, they will each be one half double crochet. So let's count those out together. So we're gonna go one, two, and three, this is four, this is five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Once you get your nine in, then the next uh, one's gonna be two half double crochets. So we got one and two. My apologies that second one didn't take. The next one is gonna be one half double crochet by itself. And then the next one is gonna have two half double crochets. So one and two. Okay, the next one is gonna be one half double crochet by itself. And then the next two in a row are gonna be two half double crochets each. So let's just put those in. So one and two. 
and then go to the next one, put two into that one too. So one and two and let's continue around. It's gonna be one by itself is the next one and then the next one after that is two into the same one. One and two. The next one is one by itself and the last time you're gonna do the growth on the front section here it's gonna be two into this one. So one and two. I was using really thick yarn before taking this uh, video so I'm a little bit dropping my stitches. So the next nine in a row are each gonna be one half double crochet each. So let's count those out. So one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine and then that's gonna leave you the last um, what we have here that's gonna leave you with the last two stitches and the last two stitches will each be two half double crochets each. So one and two and then this is the last one. So one and two and then you're just going to join it to the very top of the beginning that you had started with. So that was the last growth round. You can see the difference then of last round to this round that it's almost very close to the original. So let's uh, carry on to round number four. So round number four we're going to create the lip that makes the bend in the bottom of the booty just like you see. So in order to do that what you're going to do is just chain up one and you're going to go into the back loops only. So if you go into a back loop it creates the bend in the material. So you're just gonna go there and just keep doing the back loop. So if you're new to crochet there's always two stitches and if you go to the front stitch or the front uh, strand it's the front loop and if you go to the, the other one it's the back one and that's the back. I would strongly recommend that you get the right stitch count around though. Make sure that it is either 42 if you're working on the other side it'll be 46. Make sure that it's completely right. So just go in the back loops all the way around and uh, just count as you go and then meet me back here at the end of this round. So I'm now just coming back around. I did count as I went and I'm just going to slip stitch it to the top of the beginning that I had started with and there's a total of 42 going all the way around and because of the lip here you'll see that it wants to flatten out the bottom making this raise up just like you see. So let's move along to the fifth to uh, sixth and seventh round. So those are just easy. Just chain up one and one single crochet in each. Again I would verify your counts. They should be total either 42 or 46 and just do one single crochet in each for three rounds and then just slip stitch it to the top of the beginning single crochet as you're completing each round and then move up. So do three rounds just one single crochet in each and just verify that you're counting correctly as well. So right now it kind of looks like a boat and we're now going to start the curvature in that makes the top of the booty. It doesn't really appear that way so far but that's because it's not done right. So let's begin round number eight. So we're gonna chain up one and we're gonna do one single crochet uh, in the first one and then we're gonna do one single crochet in each of the next eleven. So let's uh, count those out together. So we're gonna do one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and eleven. So we have to repeat the next set of instructions a total of six times. So we're gonna do one single crochet first and then the next two are gonna be come together. So this is one of six. So grab the hook and go into the next stitch, wrap the hook and pull through, go into the next one, pull through. You have three loops on the hook, pull through all three. So that was one of six. So single crochet in the next and then put the next two together. Okay, that was two of six. Single crochet in the next and then put the next two together. Okay, that was three of six. So single crochet, put the next two together. That's four of six single crochet and then put the next two together. Okay, that's five of six single crochet and then put the next two together and that's six of six. So now the next eleven stitches where to left are each one single crochet each. So one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Just like you see there. And then once you get to the very final here, what you're going to just do then is that you're just gonna slip stitch to the top of the beginning that you had started with. So you can see that the front part is now getting a rounded circle here and the back is still maintaining to go upward. Let's move on to round number nine. Moving up to round number nine, we're gonna chain up one and single crochet in the same one. So let's single crochet in each of the next 11. Again like we did before. So let's count those out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So here's your set of instruction then for the repeat. There's gonna be four times the repeat. So you're gonna do single crochet in the next one and then the next two are together. So this is one of four. The next one, single crochet and then the next two are together. That's two of four. Single crochet the next one and then put the next two together. Okay, that's three of four. Single crochet and put the next two together and that's four of four. So then all you're just gonna do then is just one single crochet in each of the stitches going back to the very beginning that you had started with and there's a total of 14 of those, or sorry, a total of 12 of those. So this is one, two, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Once you get that done, just slip stitch it to the beginning one again and then let's begin to do round number 10 and you can really see it now it's starting to look like a Mary Jane. So let's continue again to round number 10. So let's begin round number 10, chain up one, one single crochet in the first one and now the next 11 like before are gonna be uh, single crochet. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. The next uh, repeat is going to be four times. So just go into the next one and that and the next one after that. So that's the two together. So we're gonna do that once. Go into the next two and do that again. That's two. Go into the next two and do it again. This is three. And the next two And there you go. Once you get that done, you're just going to single crochet yourself back to the beginning. So the next 12 in a row will be that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve and then just join it to the beginning one. That was round number 10. So you really can see that it's really starting to take effect now and let's continue to go. Let's go for round number 11. This is the final time it's really gonna narrow it down in the front and let's begin. So we're gonna chain up one, single crochet in the first one and into the next 11 as well. So let's do 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So the next four stitches are e are gonna be put together. So we're gonna be double crochet four together. So wrap the hook first going into the next one, pull through, pull through two and hold it. Go into the next one, wrap, pull through, pull through two and hold it. Go into the next one, just keep doing that and you will end up with five loops on your hook. Just like you see, pull through all five and then all you're just gonna do is go back to single crochet and you wanna single crochet the remaining 12 that's left. So just go one, two, three, four, five,
this is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And then just slip stitch it to the beginning. So rounds number 12 all the way to 17. There's a total of six rounds are just gonna be very simple. Chain up one and it's just one single crochet in each. And I would just verify that you have chain counts of 25 going all the way around uh, for the first time just to make sure you got it and then uh, continue on. So the next six rounds chain up one, one single crochet in each, slip stitch it to the top of the beginning single crochet and keep on moving for six rounds. So please do that now and just verify your counts the first time that you do have the right counts at this point because you'll end up with two different size booties if you don't count right now. So now that I got the booties all set up now I've got two more rounds to do and you can still shape it if you want to as well. And now we gotta put the loophole that is in the top here. Very easy to do so let's move on to round number 19. So, sorry round number 18. So we're gonna single crochet and we're just gonna uh, chain up one single crochet into the same one. And we're going to then single crochet in each of the next two stitches. So let's just go that. So one and two. And then we wanna chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then what we have to do is then go back. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So skip over six. Count that again. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Go into the seventh and you want to single crochet into that one. So how many do you have to do? So you skip the six. So one in each of the next seven. So that's one of seven. This is gonna be two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then you're going to chain six again. So one, two, three, four, five and six and then just skip over. So skip over six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Go to the seventh and you want to just finish off this round. So you're gonna do the final three at the very end. So one, two, and three. And then just slip stitch it to the top of the first one. So that was round number 18. So now what we have to do is that we have to go 19. So chain up one and you wanna single crochet each of the next two. So just do the first one and then the next two as well. So one and two and you wanna put six um, single crochets into this chain work itself. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then coming back down you wanna just single crochet again into each one of the single crochets until you hit the next chain. Okay, so when you hit the next chain it's again six into the same one. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then just continue just to fill, fill in the final ones here. There's three in a row. So one, two, and three. And then slip stitch it to the first one. And your final round just really quite easy is chain up one and one single crochet into each. So this is how you do your little rainy day booties. Remember these are not for doors. These are more for show. Um, based on the size of a child anyway. They wouldn't be walking if they were about six months. Well, I'm not sure if a child walks at that age or not. Um, I never had kids myself so I don't really know the age groups for when kids actually start walking but it seems a little young. So you're just gonna continue to go around and then at the very end use your darning needle to be able to weave in the, the loose ends if you have any. And uh, you know you could have changed color at any point in this one here. Um, just the hole in the side of the upper boot here seems so realistic to me. You just gotta shape it a little bit. You know just tug on it and give it its shape. And uh, it's good to be, be as a gift and it may, may meet uh, maybe the, like a the really good baby shower gift at the same time. So you just continue to go all the way around. And I'll show you how to weave in the end. So once you get all the way around just slip stitch it to the very top of the beginning. And then just trim your yarn. Pull it up. And then all you're just gonna do is throw it in through a darning needle. Again this is for kids so you really wanna take care of your loose ends especially if you're doing this for charity. And you just wanna drag it through the stitch work. And because it's fluffy yarn it's really easy to hide this stuff. So you're just gonna go one, 
when you pull it don't pull it so it ruins the project and go back in a second time for two and back again third time is a charm for three times and now you can just safely cut that right out. So now you got a pair of baby booties so if you're just doing this for the first time just go back and make a second one and uh, now I got my cute little pair just like you see here and once I shape it it's good to go. So have a great day. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.